In this video, I'll show you how to allow back orders on your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are in our demo store. And currently I've set these two products. So this one and this one to be available on back order, okay? And then here we can see this custom message here, informing the customers up front that this particular product will be delivered in 25 days. You can customize the messaging, so you can say something like lead time 25 days or however long it is. Just customize the message so the customer knows um, that this particular product won't be ready until X time period, okay? So if we actually click on the product page as well, the same message follows. So here you can see it clearly says it will be delivered in 25 days again you can customize the message to whatever you want and then here as well um, WooCommerce is also letting customers know that this particular product is available on back order okay so if you want to be able to add this custom message in, then you'll need the lead time plugin by AOV up I'll leave a link in the description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the lead time plugin, just go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this Wii Suite menu here. Go ahead and click activate to activate your license key. Once you've done so, it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section. From here, we can just scroll down and go ahead and activate the lead time plugin. Okay, so we'll just click install. And then we'll go ahead and enable this particular plugin, okay? So I'm gonna click manage in a new tab, okay? And before we actually configure any of the settings, we're gonna actually place um, a few of our products on back order, okay? So we'll just navigate over to um, all products so we can bulk update our product status, right? Or we can actually go ahead and view the product. So we can click edit and then go ahead and change it that way. So I'm gonna show you both ways. First, I'm just gonna bulk um, update these three products and then I'm going to click bulk action edit apply okay so when we scroll down to where it says in stock we'll change this to on back order okay so let's go ahead and update this and then basically these three products will be available on back order so the only issue is if you leave it here so for example let's go ahead and view this particular product so yes the customer can still go ahead and place an order but they have no idea um, how long this will take roughly to be fulfilled okay so it's not the best user experience so that's why we'll use the lead time plugin to actually go ahead and customize the message in here okay um, but before we do that let's go ahead and have a look at how you'd actually change the stock status on a product level okay so let's go ahead and view this particular product here so we'll just click edit and then when we navigate over to inventory, we can go ahead and change the stock status here, okay? And then we can just click update. Okay, so with the lead time plugin as well, so we can customize the messaging per product. So for example, here we've got this new option where it says lead time, okay? And then here we can say ready in, for example. So the time unit is either in days, weeks, or months, okay? So here we can just say it will be ready in um, 30 days, okay? So let's um, click update here and then let's just see how this messaging looks so let's view our product okay and currently it's not displaying here because we still need to actually configure our global settings so we'll head back over to our lead time settings here and in here where it says display lead times on we can select the single page and maybe the shop archive page as well you can also display it on the order details page checkout cart page as well and then the lead time will be displayed for products which are available on back order and then for the prefix we can say deliver in and then the global time, for example, we can just add a placeholder time of 25 days, for example, okay? So let's just hit save changes. Okay, so if we view one of our product page now, let's go ahead and refresh this particular page. And here it should display the global message. Here it's saying it will be delivered in 25 days, okay? Which is our default placeholder. And now when we refresh this page where we edited the lead time message on the product level, it should show the product level instead of the global level. Okay, so let's refresh this. And here you can see it says ready in 30 days. Okay, because if we click edit here, we actually specified that it would be ready in 30 days here. Okay, um, one thing to note as well, because we set the display to also display on the shop page and the order details page as well. 
if we click here we can see that this particular product will be delivered in 25 days so it's just an easy way to manage your customers expectations so whenever they place an order and a few days goes by there's no surprises right so that you've already let them know up front um, in numerous different places that this product is basically going to be ready in x amount of days right so this is why i would use the lead plugin to actually customize the messaging so there's no surprises for you or or your customers okay so everyone's on the right page and that's a quick and simple way to allow your customers to place back orders on your WooCommerce store as always if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible